When you hear hoofbeats, don't expect to see a zebra. <laughs> Turns out I have stripes. Welcome to Zebra Life 24-7. My name is Holly, and I have hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, also known as HEDS. Along with many other comorbidities such as lupus, PCOS, GERD, IBS, and more. When you hear hoofbeats, think of horses, not zebras. This term was first coined in the 1940s by John Sotos. When doctors are in training, they are taught to look for the most common cause of illnesses, such as horses. Zebras are those who have immune deficiencies and other rare diseases. I earned my stripes in 2022 after being diagnosed with heads. Those with my disorder often are not diagnosed until later in life, and it takes a very long time to reach this diagnosis. Us zebras are born with this connective tissue disorder. Often symptoms don't appear until later in life. 50% of my channel will primarily focus on medical zebras. I will be sharing my story and journey of becoming a zebra. Additionally, we will have many interviews lined up with individuals who suffer from this disorder, along with a variety of specialists who help aid in the treatment of heads and more. I will frequently be sharing with what I have done to create a zebra cocktail for myself, which has changed my life dramatically for the better. These are details that I will dive into later. The other portion of this channel will focus on mental health, such as PTSD, anxiety, ADHD, depression, bipolar, and more, parent loss, and childhood trauma. This will include my stories along with many others who will be sharing their journeys as well. Additionally, I will be sharing a variety of poetry that I've written over the decades. As a child, writing my ideas and thoughts was the best way to express my thoughts, opinions, and feelings. To this day, it is my favorite way to communicate. I chose the term zebra life based off of being a medical zebra, plus overcoming a variety of struggles throughout my lifetime. I have earned a stripe with every challenge that I have faced, thus becoming the zebra warrior that I am today. Over the next several weeks, I will be sharing with you much of my life story, where you will get to know me in a very raw and authentic way. I have one purpose for this channel, and that is to show people that they are not alone. I firmly believe in the following. Together we are better. Together we are not alone and together we find ways to heal. Often you will hear me say, perception is your reality. This has been my way of handling what the world has thrown at me. With whatever has happened in my life, I choose to perceive it from the best angle that embraces what I stand for and what I can accept in order to thrive in life. When things take a negative turn in my life, I find the most positive reality I can of the situation at hand. For today, let's dive in what it means and looks like to be a head zebra. So, what is hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome? According to Diana, the editor of the book, Disjointed, it is a complicated, complex illness. It is multi-systematic, meaning that it affects almost every body system and often is connected in ways. Patients are often, mis or often dismissed and misdiagnosed, which can lead to decades of unmanaged symptoms that significantly impact the quality of life. What makes heads tricky is that no two cases are alike we all present in completely different ways. Based on how the disorder affects us, there are 13 variants. I believe a 14th has recently been added as well. The condition that they, the majority suffer from is the one that I have, hypermobile Ehlers. Out of all the variants, the head subtype is the only one that does not have a causative gene. The diagnosis is based on clinical criteria versus genetic testing. Hypermobility is ability to move joints beyond typical range of motion. Over time, this results in pain, instability, strained muscles, and other mus musculoskeletal complications. HEADS is not limited to hypermobile joints. If this is the only feature that someone presents with, they will often be diagnosed with hypermobile spectrum disorder. HEADS affects multiple systems. If you have EDS, you have faulty connective tissue in the body. And connective tissue is everywhere in our bodies. Often, symptoms arise in the autonomic nervous system. This results in sleep, digestion, energy, and cognitive thought dysfunction. The GI system is often affected, causing intestinal motility, food sensitivities, and other bowel disorders. The immune system is also often compromised, which causes reactions to food, chemicals, and temperature. Additionally, the peripheral nervous system can be affected, causing numbness, pain, and tingling in extremities. According to Joven, people with joint hypermobility have may have joints that move in and out of positioning, causing pain from subluxations and dislocations, poor posture, balance or issues with coordination due to poor proprioception, 
Proprioception is joint feedback as to where the body is in space, plus a range of motion in ligaments that can cause sprains, strains, and stress on adjacent muscles. In our next episode, I will dive into how I have specifically been affected by this disorder and what it looks like to be me. Within the zebra community, common signs and symptoms are pain, dislocations, subluxations, hypermobility, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, skin tearing, stretchy skin, soft skin, mitral valve prolapse, easy bruising, fatigue, Chiari malformations, which we just found out my seven-year-old son has, sprains, gastrointestinal issues, atrophic scarring, muscle spasms, poor healing, TMJ, POTS, organ rupture, aneurysms, prolapse, preterm labor, IBS, dystonomia, I always screw that one up, flat feet, swan neck deformity, degenerative joint disease, gastritis, arthralgia, myalgia, surgical complications, and much, much more. When it comes to understanding hypermobility, there isn't a lot that the doctors are familiar with at this point and how to treat it. There's no specific treatment for hypermobility with the exception of physical therapy. PT can significantly help control the hypermobility, but for those with Ehlers, it doesn't change the fact that our collagen is faulty and we cannot fix our connective tissue. Think of it like this. Normal people have Twizzlers for ligaments and tendons. These Twizzlers work to hold the muscle in place and support it when the muscles tire. They can rely on the ligaments and tendons to support their structure. For those like me, I have pull and peel Twizzlers for connective tissue. So when my muscles start to tire, I can't rely on the support of my ligaments and tendons. The muscles give way because the pull and peels are not supportive enough to give my muscles a break. Our muscles become incredibly weak and we resort to locking our joints for stability. Take a look at this video I created as a visual representation of how our connective tissue works differently. What? You're hypermobile, big deal. <laughs> Watch. This video shows what happens when we become unstable because we no longer have the ability to hold our muscles in place. That's all I have for you today. Stay tuned for weekly episodes of Zebra Life 24-7 airing at 3.30 p.m. every Saturday. Episode 2 will be focused on my personal journey as a medical zebra. Please click the subscribe button below. And remember, perception is your reality.